Apple just held its annual Love Fest, the Worldwide Developer Conference, on June 6th. Over 30 million developers drooled over every word from the high priests of Cupertino, and the press lapped up the latest iteration of Apple Silicon, the M2 chip, in two new laptops. But what about smart home fans? Did they even mention HomeKit this time? Did Apple delight or disappoint? Stick around and I'll give you my perspective on what we can expect. For those that don't follow Apple closely, it's worth stating that the official audience for WWDC is Apple developers, the people and companies building new software for Apple products. The general public and media audiences have grown with Apple, but the primary focus here is to have developers ooh and ah over the hot new software things and get to work over the summer. Everything previewed at WWDC is available now in beta for official registered Apple developers. Slip Apple $100 and you're in. A public beta usually rolls out around middle to end of July. Free to download, but you use at your own risk. It will be buggy, slow, and a battery killer. Later in the year, when new iPhones and other devices are introduced and shipped by Apple, the new software will officially ship out too. So the crucial question, what's new with Apple's HomeKit smart home? Before I can answer that, I need to explain that HomeKit is very similar to most other tech and follows a classic life cycle. Wish lists, predictions, announcements, yeah. post-mortem, and then wish lists start all over again. It's a never-ending cycle with highs and lows, impressive announcements, and crushing disappointments. The only predictable thing is the continuous cycle. We're now in the post-mortem phase, so get ready for another round of wish lists real soon now. Each year at WWDC, I like to look at each home automation feature as a glass half full or half empty. We almost always get something, it's never everything we want, and often it may be something we weren't even thinking about. So it takes a little pondering to figure out if it's actually a step forward, backward, or sideways. This year we got a major redo of the Apple Home app. This is a software app provided by Apple for setup and operation of HomeKit. It provides the user interface to add new devices, adjust their settings, and control them. So it's pretty important. Even if you use other software, you're probably always going to rely on the Home app, at least for installation and configuration. Let's check out how we made the experience even better with an all new Home app to make it easier to control your smart home. We've integrated your rooms and favorites into the main tab of the app, so you can see your entire home in a single view. We've added new categories for climate, lights, security, and more, and an overview of what's happening in each category right at the top of the screen. When you tap on a specific category, you see all the relevant accessories organized by room and more detailed status information. A multi-camera view displays up to four cameras at once, front and center, and you can scroll to the right to see any additional cameras. We also redesigned tiles so the different accessories are more visually recognizable through shape and color. And with the new widgets on the lock screen, it's easier than ever to see how your home is doing. The home app was desperately in need of an overhaul. We didn't get a complete redesign, but we got a lot more than a fresh coat of paint. It's definitely in the glass half full category. It's nice to see these improvements and I hope we see many more. The second important announcement from Apple about home animation was really a PR pitch. Apple spent a little time mentioning the new Matter standard, how they've been heavily involved and worked on supporting it in their products. We joined forces with other industry leaders to create a new smart home connectivity standard. Matter enables smart home accessories to work together across platforms. And to ensure we stay true to our values, we contributed HomeKit, our smart home framework, as the foundation of this new standard. So it's built on the same core principles and maintains the highest level of security with over 130 products in the pipeline. And that's just the beginning. Matter is an industry-wide effort from Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and other companies to finally play nice and ensure everyone's products can work together. 
this is a huge topic that others have covered extensively, so I'm not gonna go into the technical details here. There really wasn't any new info. I really see this as mainly a PR move on Apple's behalf to get the message out more. Since matter's been delayed many times, a glass half empty situation, but now it's supposed to really, really, really be released by the end of this year. So it might just move into the glass half full category. For me, I want Apple to finish with Matter. It seems they have slowed down or ignored most everything else to do with the smart home until this gets done. I don't blame them. Matter is like ripping the guts out of your house and replacing all the plumbing while you're still trying to live in it at the same time. Lastly, there were a few odds and ends, good and bad, for HomeKit. Apple quietly announced that iPads would no longer be supported as HomeKit hubs. This isn't really a big deal. I don't know anyone that used an always plugged in iPad as a HomeKit hub anyway. It didn't work very well and it's not a reliable solution, so I'm glad they killed this off. Apple also announced some marketing brand changes. The works with Apple HomeKit sticker that's on the box of HomeKit products has been changed to be works with Apple Home. Means the same thing, but now the more techy developer term HomeKit is replaced with the consumer friendly wording of Apple Home. I wonder how many hundreds of marketing people it took to do that. What's disappointing? What's missing? Well, how much time do you have? Seriously, <laughs> I would like to see Apple continue to add more new device types. Hello, robotic vacuum cleaners, anyone? I'd like to see the automation features in HomeKit, <clears throat> I mean, Apple Home, continue to become more sophisticated. Easy things must still be easy, but hard things must be possible. Right now, they often aren't. Finally, I really wanna see how Apple and the emerging matter standard embrace security cameras and recording. Right now, it's one of the most glaring omissions. I'm willing to wait glass half full, but if they don't incorporate security cameras and go beyond the current HomeKit camera support, it's gonna be the top of my glass half empty list. So half full, half empty, we need to wait and see. It's gonna be an interesting fall.